Hi, this is Muhammad, your HVAC trainer. <coughs> As we agreed, today we are going to discuss about HVAC basics. This is the first topic. So, before that, we must know what, what are the things we are going to learn and what is the points we are going to cover and what is the sequence of these points. As you see in your screen, there is a topics, background, comfort conditions, properties of the air, HVA55 code and process, different process, uh, HVAC, VCR cycle, that is basic air conditioning cycle and finally component of air conditioning. Before going to start further, I want to tell you one thing here. The goal of this topic is to, to make sure or to realize what is the meaning of HVAC and its background. So, let's see the background first. In the recent days, in history, we used to get the comfort conditions or the comfortable environment by means of natural ventilation or sometimes forced ventilation. Further, if first of all there is a natural ventilation, then we develop the forced ventilation. But these two things cannot provide us to control environment or unique environment, unique conditions. So, in modern vast development of construction industry, we have got many applications of the buildings and that many application of the buildings require many unique requirements to be maintained inside the building, inside the construction building. That control environment has to be achieved for each and every building. For example, if you take, we have a building, for example, hospital, we have stadiums, entertainment buildings like cinema and shopping malls, residential building, villas, towers, public transportations, various type of types of buildings and these various types of building has their own unique demand which cannot be fulfilled by natural ventilation and either a forced ventilation. We need to add further some more factors in order to maintain, in order to fulfill the requirement for the efficient operation of that particular building. So we need a special approach to achieve these requirements that approach must be fulfill the, fulfill the special requirements of these buildings or various applications of these buildings. So that approach leads to develop a concept called HVAC. For the, from the, and this is a part of the mechanical engineering. And this is all about deals about the air circulation and the, its quality, its temperature, mainly the properties of the air. So what is mean by HVAC? HVAC means uh, heating, ventilation, and air conditioning. Okay, so how we are able to achieve this process? What makes us to uh, to uh, include this process like heating, ventilation, air conditioning, and group together and form one branch of engineering? So to know that, first we need to understand what is the comfort condition, what is the control environment. Okay. The comfort condition over here is <coughs> sorry. Okay, the comfort conditions, as you see in the definition, a condition which demand by various types of building or the human comfort. We're talking about the condition of the dioxide air at which it reaches to control environment leads to human comfort. Comfort is nothing but a psychological feeling. As being a human, we need a comfortable environment. Wherever we sit, wherever we work, wherever we walk, wherever we, whatever the task we will do, we need a comfortable environment, irrespective of outside weather. So if you are living in a hot site region or cold site region, you will feel uncomfortable. Maybe you, you feel cold, maybe you feel hot, and sometimes you will feel humid, depending upon the geo, geographical location. So <clears throat> and we need to be urged to change this condition in our required conditions from the uh, hot weather to the comfortable condition so that condition it's called comfort comfort condition and the definition i've given here already changing or conditioning the properties of the air to required level of range in order to get human comfort simply i need to change the properties of the air from outside properties 
to the comfortable properties, com to reach comfort conditions. So if I'm saying the properties of the air, I'm ch talking about changing the properties of the air. So we must know what are those properties of the air. So the, there are many properties of the air, but especially, uh, specifically if you are related to HVAC, we will deal with important four properties. That is, as you see here, temperature, relative humidity, air circulation, and quality of the air. What does this mean? These are the four properties. As, you, we, uh, as we already know, all these are the four properties of the air. So, what is this relation between these properties and comfort condition? Comfort condition is a condition we need to reach, as I told you already. So, being a professional, we need to define in a technical definition what is the comfort means with some range of values. So, as I tell you, these are the four properties, temperature, relative humidity, air circulation, speed and quality of the air. So, what ASHRAE 55, Code 55 telling us, if you are able to provide uh, air with this certain range of properties of the air, temperature is 23, 0.7 degrees centigrade, relative humidity 50 to 60 percent, air circulation speed or air speed 40 to 60 FPM that is feet per, feet per minute that is the speed of the air and quality of the air, the air should be 80 percent contaminant free air. So these are the four properties we must provide in order to get the comfort conditions. So ASHRAE is giving us the guidelines for that comfort condition, these are the ranges we have to follow. By the way, what is mean by ASHRAE? ASHRAE is a body which provides us the guidelines for the whole HVAC design process. This is the American Society for Heating, Refrigeration, Air Conditioning Engineers. This body will provide us, govern us, or recommend us many recommendations for various HVAC practices. For an example, if you are doing duct sizing, pipe sizing, or if you do cooling load calculation, or what are the process if you do we are, we are going to take the guidelines from the ASHRAE. In short, whole HVAC uh, concept based on the ASHRAE and our co course also based on these ASHRAE standards and guidelines. So come to the our definition, the comfort conditions. So these are the four properties. With these four ranges, it have, which I have shown here, we have to maintain in order to get the comfort conditions. So to, to getting these comfort conditions, I have to do some process. I have to do some, uh, perform some process. What are those process? If I say I want temperature 23.7, I need to cool this air. For example, here as I shown, I'm taking an example for easy understanding. Two conditions, temperature and relative humidity for region Qatar. Qatar has its peak temperature 46 centigrade centigrade and relative humidity is 33%. So, my requirement as temperature as a comfort condition is 23.7 degrees centigrade. So in order to get 23.7 degrees centigrade, I need to reduce the temperature, so I need to perform cooling process. So if you see the same example for the western region, the temperature here is minus 5 degrees centigrade and I need 23 degrees centigrade. So 23.7 degrees centigrade. So I need to perform heating process to increase the temperature. Same way for the relative humidity in the both the examples. So so the, 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 the process over here, the cooling process and the heating process. And there is another process we need to get to need to perform that is ventilation process. What is mean by ventilation? So these two properties, the temperature and the relative humidity, the property of the air. Means I am taking the air from the outside, I am changing these properties of the air through this process and I am releasing this air into the space where I need to be comfort condition or where I am going to provide air conditioning basically air conditioning so that means there is a amount of air we require that amount of air we will take and we will and we will provide this air into the space and we will release as this diagram shows i'm taking the air from the outside it is coming inside and it is leaving out this process the air coming in and going out is called ventilation process without the ventilation process we are we cannot provide the conditions, uh, condition space. I mean, we cannot provide comfort condition inside this space. This outside space is hot and humid or cold condition, and this inside is comfort conditions. To pro to maintain this place, comfort condition or control environmental condition, 
I need to provide air that is we are going to take from the outside and I'm going to use that air and I will I will leave that air outside so this is the ventilation process so <clears throat> cooling process heating process and ventilation process this is what is the relation between process and comfort conditions again comfort conditions these are the comfort conditions these are the four properties I need to get and I need to perform to get those ranges of conditions I have to do this process these three process cooling process heating process and ventilation process so if all together if I add these process it will become HVAC heating ventilation and air conditioning this is how the HVAC derived from our requirement that our requirement is comfort condition in order to get the comfort conditions we need the this branch of science this branch of mechanical engineering that is HVAC heating and ventilation air conditioning so this is the definition of HVAC and the main goal of the HVAC please remember the main goal of this HVAC to reach comfort condition so what is mean by comfort conditions those four factors okay to be maintained irrespective of outside conditions whatever the outside condition you need to change the properties of the air into the comfort conditions this is the goal whole goal whole objective of the HVAC so this is the main goal of the HVAC now okay theoretically it's perfect you can understood what I have told you theoretically but there must be a practical cycle engineering cycle to achieve this comfort conditions through this cooling process and uh, heating process or ventilation process so to perform this cooling process or heating process or ventilation process I need certain devices I need certain devices for example here there is a evaporator this is the normal basic AC cycle this is evaporator actually in the HVAC term it's called cooling coil okay please make 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 uh, no doubt this is cooling coil this is the fan there is a condenser expansion wall and compressor you maybe know what is the cycles all about there is a refrigerant flows into this cycle into this, this network so if I start from, let me refresh the working principle of the cycle. There is expansion wall, the refrigerant, we will use the refrigerant here in this pipe. Through. So that liquid refrigerant here, the cool refrigerant flows into this cooling coil or evaporator. Due to that, here there is a fan, will rotate and it will take the air from the outside, that is warm air or hot air this air flow through this coil and it will become cold due to that this liquid refrigerant will become vapor so this vapor refrigerant will go into the compressor the compressor will compress this refrigerant and it will increase its pressure and temperature so that proper form of high pressure high temperature refrigerant will flows into condenser and then it will become into high pressure high temperature liquid Again, it will go into the expansion wall where it will drop its pressure and due to that temperature is going to be dropped and it, this refrigerant will become again chilled liquid, cool liquid, the same cycle will happen. So due to this cycle, we are getting, we are changing the warm air into cold air. So remember here, just make note down here, I am doing here cooling process, okay, from warm air to cold air. In the same circulation and performing the circulation of the air by fan so here the temperature same again remember the four factors temperature the temperature i am getting i'm just whatever the temperature i want here i'm doing cooling process so by evaporator or cooling coil i am doing i am just getting the desired temperature what i want and the speed the fan speed the whatever the spans fan produces the speed that that can be provide whatever the circulation of the air and we want wherever I mean we want a certain amount of speed as we have agreed for 340 to 60 fpm as comfort condition so we can get from the fan so fan for the speed and uh, cooling coil for the temperature as well as this cooling coil responsible to provide the relative humidity that 50 to 60 percent relative humidity so the last term is quality of the air how we are getting the quality of the air so if you provide here it is not shown but if you provide filter over here so if you see if you can provide the filter over here 
the air can be clean the air can be purified the air can be filtered so basically if you see here component of ac cooling coil to control rh and temperature fan for air circulation filter for quality of the air same four factors temperature relative humidity circulation and quality this is how practically this components doing this process and achieving these four factors this is the component of air conditioners so this is the basic cycle of the air conditioning uh, or this is the basic cycle entire hvac so entire hvac will find you will find all this equipment in entire hvac cooling coil fan filter if you remember the cooling coil will be in the air handling unit fan coil unit or if you see window ac or split ac fan also will be there filter also will be there the whole goal of these components all together the whole device i mean the device which is be called air conditioning device which consists of these components to get the comfort condition by performing the process so the conclusion of this uh, today's class is we need to have a comfort condition that means we need to control the four factors that is temperature humidity air circulation and uh, quality of the air as per ashray 55 2004 and 2007 we are performing some process this is different process those process are hvac means heating ventilation and air conditioning to to perform this process practically we need a cycle that is air conditioning cycle and the components we need those components are cooling coil fan and filter so the comfort we define comfort theoretically and we define comfort technically and we define process how to achieve that and we define the cycle practically how to achieve that and the components we derive the components what we require to achieve that so this is the basic conclusion and my aim to for this uh, class to provide you the definition of comfort and the what are the process why we require the process and how hvac drawn from those process the concept of hvac and the ac cycle and component of hvac so wait for my next class for next topic that is if you check here uh, air distribution system okay the next video is going to be on air distribution system but before that you need to make sure to write down your concerns about hvac basics and go on through all these uh, slides and listen my recordings and this video so write down the doubts and concerns we can we, we, we will uh, ensure to close this discussion in weekly meetings if you have any uh, concern about this Till then, thank you very much for listening to me.